Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we are going to install two different free plugins for the product slider in WooCommerce. Let me show you an example of the product slider. Here is the first slider that I have created using the free plugin. And you can see the simple product slider created using this free plugin. So if you want to show the slider on the shop page or any other page, you can use this free plugin. Now let me show you the second product slider. This is the second product slider that I have created using the free plugin. In both the free plugins, you can change the layout of the product slider. However, there are limitations in both the free plugins. Both these plugins have pro versions. If you want to create advanced product slider, then you can go with the pro version also. However, if you want to show a simple product slider, you can use the free plugin only. So we are going to compare the free version of both the plugins and we will see which free version will be the better option for your WooCommerce website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. And now we are going to install free plugin for WooCommerce product slider. So let's start with installing the free product slider for WooCommerce. So here I am on the WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins and click on add new. Search for product slider for WooCommerce. So here you will see first two options. This is the product slider for WooCommerce by shaped plugin. And this is the product slider for WooCommerce by pick plugins so we will install both the plugins and we will compare both the plugins so let's start with this first plugin install now click on activate all right so the plugin has been activated and here you will see the option product slider so let's click on all sliders so here we are on the all sliders and we do not have any slider here so we are going to create the first slider click on add new and this is the first slider so i'm going to name it as slider one and here you can see that it has already generated the short code and if you want to use php code you can use the php code also we are on the general setting this is the general setting now here you will see the product filter options right now it is set to latest and we have featured and latest so we have only two options to select from latest and featured if you want to select category tags best selling related upsells and other product filters then you need to go with the pro plugin i'll give you the link in the description box for the pro plugin also now here i uh, here i'm going to select latest only because there is no other option hide out of stock products check it so that it will not show any product which is out of stock order by date order by descending these are the filtration options so i'm going to leave it as it is here limit i'm going to change it to let's say 12 or make it 9 preloader is enabled now the next tab is template settings here you will see the first option is slider if you want to use a grid masonry or table then you will need to go with the pro plugin here i'm going to show you the pro so this is the pricing $39 per year and it's not like you will need to renew every year. It will keep on working even if you do not renew the license. It's just that you will not get any update after one year if you do not renew the license key. So the pricing for this one is $39, 14 days money back guarantee and one to one tech support. Here you will see the difference between the free and pro plugin. Filtering options are available. So there are many different features available for the pro version and it's not that costly if you want to go with the advanced slider option you can go with this pro plugin i'll give you the link in the description box so let's go back so we have selected the first option slider now here you will see columns four three two one this is for the desktop laptop tablet and this is for mobile on the mobile it will show only one slider at a time choose a template type you can create a custom template type here you will see the option 
these are for the pro only one option is available for free and there is not that much customization you can have the padding border color or you can use the pre-made templates like this one template one template two and this is template three and for pro there are 28 plus templates so i'm going to use template two pagination you do not really need to make any changes here however it is only available for the pro version display options product showcase section title leave it as it is product name so this will be the name of the product let's click on show preview and here you will see the preview of the slider so this is the title this is the price and this is the buy now or add to cart button so here you will see the title that is the name description is available for pro so rating add to cart button is there so from here you can make changes to the color right now you can see it is in black and white so you can make changes here all right so i'm not going to make any changes i just want to show you how does this work image settings so if you do not want to show you can simply hide it if you want to show it just show it this is the image size if you want to change it you can change it slider controls so these are the controls actually you will see the controls here and these are the dots and these are the arrows you can make changes from here this is the play speed setting so right now it is set to 3000 milliseconds you can change it slider speed is also there so you can have control over the speed typography if you want to make any changes to the typography you can do it but it is available for the pro version only font size and the color is available for free so i'm going to publish it all right so the first slider is published and this is the short code let me open one page here and i'm going to use this short code on the demo page so let me open the demo page here i'm using elementor on this website whichever page builder you have you can use that one you just need to put the short code on the page and it will show the slider so here i'm going to use the element called as short code let me copy the short code and put it here update the page if you are using the basic gutenberg or the wordpress you will get the block called as short code and in that block you can use short code for the slider let's view the page all right so this is how the product filter will look if i change the layout let's say template one and update it let's go back and refresh the page now you will see the second layout is there so this is how you can make changes to the layout now the only thing is that there are some limitations you cannot change the product filter such as category tags so for that you will need pro plugin now let's install the second plugin go to plugins and go to add new and again search for product slider for woocommerce so this is the second plugin product slider for WooCommerce by pick plugins click on install now click on activate now here you will see the option WCPS click on it now we are going to create the first slider click on add new now here you will see the dashboard let's name it as slider 1-1 now here you will see slider for products orders or categories so we are going to set up slider for the products only so i'm going to select products here you will see the short code is already generated slider options so it will show slider column count three on desktop two on tablet one in mobile if you want to change it you can change it make it four three one all right slides to scroll will be let's say two one one so autoplay play speed 
how to play timeout. So these are the small settings that you can make changes. Slider loop, slider center, stop on hover, navigation background color. All right, so we will check how does this work. So as of now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Query product. So how many products do you want? I'm going to set it is right now it is set to 10 so i'm going to leave it as it is from here you can select categories in the first plugin we did not have option to select categories here we can filter the products by categories so i'm going to use let's say one category here two so i'm going to select two categories taxonomy or no so if you want to select taxonomy you can select taxonomy query order by so these are the order queries meta key so i'm going to leave it as it is style so these are the style for the ribbon text item style padding background color layout so if you want to create any specific layout you can create layout also so i'm going to click on publish for now okay now go to short code and we are going to use the short code let me copy it now let's go to the demo page i'm going to add a new section here and i'm going to use the short code in the new section so that we can see both the sliders paste the short code and let me update it let's go to the demo page and refresh it so this is the first slider and this is the second slider. Let's see if I change the color, go to style and for the items style, I'm going to change this background color to let's say yellow. Let's see how does this work. Update it and refresh the page and this is how we have changed the background color here i just wanted to test how does this work so i'm going to change the background color again back to normal update it so this plugin also has a pro version and you will see the difference between the free and the pro so if you want to create advanced slider you can go for the premium one and here you can see the price for the premium is $69 up to 10 sites. this is for the 10 sites single site yearly it will be $19 only so I'll give you the link in the description box for both the plugins you can choose whichever you want and if you think that the free version is good enough you can go with the free version only and later if you want to upgrade you can upgrade to the pro version. So this is how you can use the product slider for WooCommerce. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.